If you must. Possibly, if I had... I do not. Yes? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. What's this? <laughs> tis a rather odd discussion you seem to desire, leaning in so closely. Oh, it's humor you desire, hmm? I didn't realize comedy had anything to do with this. How true. Let us do it right, then. Bomb chicka bomb wow! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Speaking of gifts. Hmm. Yeah, I don't actually know who I should give this shit to. Yeah, whatever, I'll deal with that shit later. Why are we stopping? There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? What a strange language you speak. You say hurry, where I would say duty. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. No. People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. I am. I have always fought in war, human. Some of them. They aren't all alike. Decide. I am a Sten of the Beresad. I did not choose to be who I am any more than you did. The Antam are the eyes, hands, and mouth of the Kunari. We are how my people know the world. Compared to what? What does anyone truly know of the world? The world changes. We change. The Antam observe what we can, just as you do. There is no point to this. We are keeping the Darkspawn waiting. As you wish. Yes? Well, here I am. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. What then? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw, but there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. And this made you want to help me. In my dream I fell, or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the Blight devours everything? Chantry says the Maker's abandoned us. He's still here. I hear him in the wind and the waves. I feel him in the sunlight that warms my skin. I know what the Chantry says about the Maker, and what should I believe? What I feel in my heart, or what others tell me? Believe what feels right to you, Liliana. Thank you. It's nice to find someone who agrees. I know what I know, and no one will ever make that untrue. 
Yes. Well, here I am. What was life like in the Chantry Cloister? Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. How so? When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. I prefer your ideas. Thank you. Maybe I am wrong. But it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. But there is work to be done, and I have talked enough for now. Yes? Well, here I am. What would someone like you be doing in Lord of the Rings, Chantry? What is meant by someone like me? A beautiful, charming woman like yourself. And there were no beautiful, charming women in the cloisters, you think? <laughs> you would be wrong. There were many lovely young initiates in the Lothering Cloister. All of them chaste and virtuous. <laughs> it added to their mystique. Because then, they were forbidden. And forbidden fruit is the sweeter, no? Flatterer. I, however, did not take vows, and so perhaps I am not as enigmatic? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. Affirmed? We affirm our belief in the Maker, in Andraste and the Chant, but other than that, there are no vows taken. What did you do before that? I was a traveling minstrel in Orlais. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. Okay. Indeed. Indeed. Yes. Something's going down. Oh, this is a nasty one. Whoa. Whoa. There is scar. Specialized Morgan. So now she doesn't have that shitty shapeshifter thing. She's basically a he offensive healer now. And since that's the case, I need to move her buttons around. Damage, damage, damage. What's this one? Is this an upkeep ability? I think so. E yep. That's a stun, those are the heals. Okay. Now then, let's get out of here. How do I get out of here? 
don't know. Oh. All right, guys. You see the mages, right? Oh, great. They just love me. What is the name they have for mother? So, this Got thing it. you and him have going, doesn't that violate your vows? What? What kind of question is that to just blurt out? What do we have going? Yes, I'm that blind. I so totally did not see you ogling each other before. He was not ogling me, was he? Was he really ogling me? Now that you say it, I'm not sure. Maybe he wasn't ogling you. I don't know. I could always ask him. You can't do that. Could you? You couldn't do that. I could, but I won't. Next thing you'll have me pulling his hair and passing him love letters. I... Just mind your own business. How inappropriate. Anyway, back to what I was saying, I uh, re went ahead and used one of the mods I downloaded to re-specialize all the characters because the starting stats for most of them suck. So, I went ahead and redid my main guy, redid Liliana, made her a bard, Morgan oh. made her a healer, Alistair, I still needed to do. But yeah, that. Now is better than later. I want to make Alistair a two-handed weapon user. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. Tell me more. The collective is a self-policing guild of mages who simply want to be left alone. We mean no offense to the Chantry, but we would rather live on our own terms. Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. I'll take a look. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. Yes? Something you need? Go? What do you mean, go? <laughs> Oops. Where's a sack? I just accept them all, fuck it. How very fitting that they would build a prison for mages in the middle of a lake and make it look like a giant phallus. How deep is this lake? Do you think we're allowed to swim in it? You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. I'm the Grey Warden. I seek the assistance of the mages. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. I have documents. Yes! Oh, a Grey Warden seal! Aha! So you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents, too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? My documents are real. Kill some darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. Grey Wardening isn't something you do, it's what you are. Ugh, semantics. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. I warn you, my patience is wearing thin. Uh, is that bad? Look, I'm uh, just trying to do my job. I'll take you right now, just like you wanted. Yes, please do. Come along, I suppose.
and I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. You're Gregor, I assume? Who are you? I explicitly told Carol not to bring anyone across the lake. We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. No, the mages have an obligation to the Grey Wardens. I am weary of the Grey Wardens' ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. The circle is lost. The tower has fallen. You need someone to fight them? I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of what? The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the mage circle. Completely. The mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. Mages aren't defenseless. Some must still live. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. I'll look. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. Abominations cannot stand against me. If you succeed, I would owe you much, enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. We have an agreement, then. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. Okay. Isn't there a quartermaster? Yeah. I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. Yes. Would you like to trade? Hmm. It's not as good as my sword. Oh, it's a mace. So it's a lot better than my sword, actually. Damn. All right. 